hey y'all what's up welcome back to my channel we are back with another video if you are new welcome um please stay a while join the family subscribe if you enjoy and if you are returning thank you so much for coming back i really appreciate you all right so for this video i decided to do a prep video a vacation prep maintenance type of video and i'm really excited so by now if you've been following me closely if you've been paying attention especially over on my instagram you will have already known that i am going to tulum so for this video i just wanted to kind of show everything that i'm doing to make a transformation um for this trip so i already got my eyebrows done i actually just came back from i just got them threaded i'm still gonna probably like fill them in or whatever um, on top of this but I just got them threaded and it was actually my first time going to this specific lady and she did a pretty good job so I'm happy with that I'm getting ready to head into the nail salon now and then I have a couple more things on my list for today um, between today and tomorrow I have like a bunch of appointments and just things that I need to get done so I'm gonna go get my nails done get a pedicure um, right now and then I'll catch up with y'all later. I have a lash appointment a little bit later um, Yeah, a couple other little errands to run as well. So let's go ahead and head in and get my nails done this thing is not the best it's because I'm still trying to figure out what looks the best it's getting dark outside so if it looks like it's dreary outside or like it's about to rain it's just getting dark um, I am actually headed I got my nails done I'll show y'all a little bit better tomorrow well actually y'all might be able to kind of see them I think they turned out really good um, I actually wasn't gonna get my nails done I was going to just get a manicure and get them to clean my nails up you know cut my cuticles file my nails all that good stuff and then I was actually gonna just do some press on nails but I have no self-control and once I got in there I was like I might as well just get my nails done but I'm kind of happy that I did get my nails done because this is just one less thing that I'm gonna have to do tomorrow <laughs> Um, or the morning of my trip. So I'm happy that they're already done. I don't really have to do much to them. I do need to kind of file them a little bit because I just need to fix them just a little bit. I mean, she did a pretty good job, but not everybody I feel like knows how to shape nails like perfectly, you know? So I'm gonna have to file them just a little. Um, she did a great job on my toes as well um, on my pedicure. But yeah, I'm getting ready to head to my lash appointment. Um, I obviously won't be able to record in there because, well, for one, my eyes are shut. Um, but they also kind of keep it dark except for over, you know, what she's doing. She has like a little spotlight, but they kind of keep it like dimmed in there anyway. So I just don't think I can record in there even if I wanted to. And there's nowhere to really set the camera up either. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get my lashes done. I'll try to show y'all when I am done. I'm actually running a little bit late. Um, but if it is dark and it's kind of hard for y'all to see, I'll just show y'all in the morning, bright and early. I have to get up because I have appointments and things to do. So yes, got my nails done, did my brows. Next are my lashes. And then in the morning, I have a wax appointment and I'm getting my hair done. That's another thing I need to try to get done tonight too is wash and blow dry this hair so that it is ready to go tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with y'all later or in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I am getting ready to head out this morning. I have a couple of appointments. Um, my first appointment this morning is my wax appointment. So I'm getting ready to head to that now. I have about 30 minutes to get there. 
running a little bit behind. So yeah, I'm getting ready to head to my appointment, um, my wax appointment. I have a couple of appointments today. I have one appointment and then I have a couple of errands to run and then I will be on the way to get my hair done. I have my hair appointment. So I'm starting off with my wax um, and I'm obviously not gonna show in there because how? How do, how do you show that? If you're a little bit shaky, I apologize um, because I'm still trying to figure out this little tripod stand thingy for like my car. Um, but anyways, I plan on coming on here and being like super excited and happy and just like, you know, just excited because I'm going on vacation tomorrow. And I do apologize for if my mood was kind of off yesterday um just a little backstory i guess um i did work the night before last and so yesterday i literally got off of work in the morning um i went home and got like two hours of sleep and then i woke up and was like going to um appointments and um you know running errands or whatever so i was exhausted by the time i got home from my last appointment I just literally just passed out. Um, oh, I didn't show you guys my lashes. I don't know if you guys can see them. I'm trying to look at the road and show y'all at the same time. But I got them a little bit fuller than what I usually do. Um, I'm I'm happy with them. I think they look good. I just feel like they still look natural. And I wanted a little bit more dramatic. So next time I may try a little higher of a volume um than what i got this time but for the most part i like them i just feel like they look very natural still and i was expecting them to be a little more dramatic um but yeah anyways back to what i was saying i expected to, i wanted to come on here and just be like super excited and happy but i'm a little bit annoyed right now um with everything that is going on so a couple of days ago I want to say or maybe it was like over the weekend I don't even remember um, is when we first heard of this storm there is a tropical storm that is supposed to be heading towards Mexico um, and the area that we are going to so when we originally looked or when we originally heard about it I guess it was just supposed to be this tropical storm passing through whatever it would be there and hopefully gone before we even go well now they're saying that it has the a strong potential to strengthen into a hurricane and um, basically I don't know what kind of damage it's gonna cause or just any this whatever and for the most part we're concerned about getting there um, or like our flight being delayed or canceled or whatever like that's kind of where our concerns are and also some people in my group that I'm traveling with are nervous about coming back I don't think we'll have an issue coming back per se just because by the time we are leaving it's gonna be on the other side of Mexico so it's more so of like what damages it might cause cause um, but I don't think the actual storm, it may still be raining and stuff, but I don't think the actual storm will still be there. Um, but yeah, basically there's just concerns about the storm and going to Tulum. And so now we're kind of stuck with the decision. As of right now, our flight is still, um, scheduled. It's still on time and in good standing but i guess some people are wanting to go ahead and reschedule kind of be ahead of the airlines so that we're not stuck um i personally feel like we should just wait it out and kind of see how it goes how the weather like what ends up happening with the weather because i'm hoping that it'll either change directions paths it'll lessen in strength like something like you just never know when it comes to these storms what is gonna really happen um so i feel like we should just wait until the morning um we got a notification from the airlines saying that we could reschedule tomorrow if needed 
and so it wouldn't be an issue if we waited until tomorrow to go ahead and reschedule I think it's just more of I guess people are thinking if we reschedule now we may be able to get another flight to somewhere else for tomorrow I'm not really sure what we're gonna do to be honest um but yeah I think we should wait it out till tomorrow in the morning and kind of just see how the weather is and you know if it's not looking good then we can always reschedule at that time but you just never know so now we're kind of playing with the idea of do we go ahead and reschedule our flight and try to go somewhere else or do we wait and see what's gonna happen or do we just cancel like I don't I don't really know what we are doing I think right now we're maybe trying to find somewhere else to go um, or we're just gonna wait until the morning I'm not really sure to be honest but yeah that's kind of where we're at like I feel like I'm doing all of this my intention was to come on here and make a prep with me for vacation video and I don't even know if there's gonna be a vacation <laughs> I mean I'm still like happy I'm getting this stuff done it's for the most part things I would have done anyways um, like I always get my eyebrows done my hair done um, I just may not have gotten my hair done right now but I always get my hair done and um, the only thing my nails are different I don't usually do my nails like this I mean a while like last year was it last year no the year before last like before COVID hit really I was getting my nails done and I would get SNS um, oh, I gotta show you guys my nails too I was getting SNS and my natural nails were so long like people thought I had acrylics on because my nails my nails were like this long even, maybe even longer at some points um, but that's my nails they look really good I had to reshape them a little bit which they're still not perfect but I feel like they look good enough um, I got this really really light like natural pink color it's kind of hard to see but really really light natural pink color with a couple of swirly designs on these two fingers um, I just wanted something really I wanted something natural but at the same time a little bit of a pop because it is vacation you know so I'm happy with my nails and I'm happy that I got them done regardless but I probably wouldn't have really gotten them done because I usually do my nails myself if you know I would have known it was a possibility that we were not going on this trip but yeah that's a little backstory of what is going on today um, but yeah like I said I'm heading to my wax appointment and I will get back with y'all once I am done with that I'll probably end up going to, I'll probably end up go why can't I talk I'll probably go ahead and go get something to eat after because I'm so hungry I'm starving I haven't eaten today it's 9 30 almost 9 40 in the morning and I'm just so hungry I didn't really eat that much yesterday just because I was just exhausted I was tired so I'm starving um, so I'll probably get something to eat after this and I will catch up with y'all then. Hey y'all. So I am back in the car from my wax appointment. Um, if anybody is interested, I go to Brazilian Wax by Andrea. I think there's like two or three locations here in Charlotte. Um, that's where I go. That's where I prefer. I have been to European Wax Center, but I don't know. I just started going here and I like the person I go to, so I just stuck it out. Um, I am getting ready to go get something to eat. I think I'm going to go to Starbucks and just get some um, coffee. And there's a Starbucks, I think, in this area. So, I mean, I feel like there's a Starbucks in all areas, right? Um, but I'm going to go to Starbucks and get me some coffee and maybe get a breakfast sandwich because I am starving. Um, I do need to go to... I do need to go to Target. I don't know why I'm like, I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. And I could just go to the Starbucks in there, but I feel like sometimes they don't have everything. So I'm just going to go to the Starbucks over here and then be on the way to Target. Um, I need to go. So these are the errands I have to run for today. My hair appointment is in about three hours or so which I should be able to at least go to two out of three of the places that I need to go to so I need to go to Target because there's just a few more last-minute things even though I want to Target like 
a couple days ago, a few days ago, um, when I was packing, I just need to go again because I created a list of more things that I just need to pick up. So I need to go to Target again, and then I don't know if I can go straight. Um, I need to go to Best Buy and get a couple of things, and then I need to go to the mall because I want to get a couple things in at Sephora. But I don't know if I'm gonna get to the mall before my hair appointment. So I may just have to wait until after my hair appointment, which is fine. My hair shouldn't take that long. I'm thinking maybe three hours max um, because I'm not getting, I'm getting it braided, but I'm not getting super small braids or anything like that. It's not gonna be like knotless braids or, it really shouldn't take too long. I'm hoping it doesn't take too long. So with that being said, um, I should have enough time to go to the mall after my appointment but um, I definitely want to try to still get as much done beforehand if I can just to make sure I'm like being smart with my time um, but yeah so update on the whole flight trip situation um, a couple of people have now I'm going this way spoken to the airlines unless our airlines cancels our ticket which they have not yet we will not get a refund for it if we cancel oh sorry if we cancel the ticket ourselves then we're not gonna get a refund for our flight if they cancel then we will either get a refund or get flight credit I think or maybe just a refund if they cancel for like bad weather um, but if we cancel, we're at a loss. And I'm not going to lie, this plane ticket was not cheap. It was expensive as heck because I think the airlines are trying to make their money back. And so I can't afford to just lose out on that much money right now. Um, so I don't really know what we're going to do. Honestly, I think, I mean, really, we only have one choice is just to wait around and kind of see what happens. And if the airline cancels then we get a refund and if the airline does not cancel we have to make that decision like are we still gonna go or are we not um, as a group so yeah that's where we're at right now but I'm at Starbucks I'm about to get me something to eat because I am so hungry and yeah then I'll be on the way to Target Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? hi can I do um, an impossible breakfast sandwich Okay, and then can I also do a vanilla iced coffee with oat milk? And can I do that uh, iced and grande? I don't know if I said that. Gotcha. That'll be all. <laughs> That'll be it. Ooh. This is a small little area. Sometimes y'all I be hitting the curve. But now I got a bigger car. I closed my window just in time because there's a big old dragonfly just flew by. That would have scared me. Um, but I got a bigger car now, so she can handle it. My little center, she couldn't. She couldn't handle it. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. You too. We got our breakfast sandwich. So, I don't know if y'all can hear me when I was ordering, if y'all heard me, but I got an Impossible Breakfast Sandwich. If y'all haven't tried it, if you are, well not if you're vegan because it has cheese on it, but if you just like eating healthier or if you don't eat red meat, um, I feel like the Impossible Breakfast Sandwich is really good. And then I also got, oh it's hot, a vanilla iced coffee or a vanilla iced latte, no it's iced coffee, with oat milk. So good. I feel like every, like whenever I get coffee, it's just unless I'm trying to switch it up and be different or try something new, I usually will get the um just usually get like a vanilla iced coffee or a vanilla iced latte. Kind of basic, huh? I didn't get any napkins. I don't know if I have any napkins in here. Oh, hopefully I'll be okay. Hot. 
Mm, so good. It's so good. I keep forgetting to thank y'all for the love and support that I got on my car tour. I'm still getting on my car tour. Like, it's literally at, like, almost 2k views. And that's just, like, so crazy to me. So thank y'all for the support and the love on that video. For people who are subscribed, not subscribed, whatever. Thank y'all. Because... It's still like blowing my mind, like how many views that video has gotten. Like when people say it really is like those videos that they don't think much about that like get the most views, like that's so true because that video I posted like just cause, like I really didn't think that many people was gonna be interested in like what kind of car I drive. Well, I guess a lot of people are nosy like me. Because I'll be curious too. This breakfast sandwich is so good. Like this, the bread that they use, I think it's chip, ciabatta bread. It's so good. You can see the smoke coming from it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but <laughs> it's hot. Oh, they also gave me a free cookie. She was like, "Do you want a free cookie?" I'm like, "Sure." Not that I needed it all, but maybe it's because they burnt them. It's a little bit burnt, but it still looks edible. I'm about to eat this a chocolate chip cookie it looks like it at least i'm gonna save that for later i'm gonna finish eating this finish eating my breakfast sandwich and i will touch bases with y'all once i am on the way to target or if i have any other updates hey y'all so it is a little bit later in the day i ended up stopping back home um so that I could take my puppy out and also i had like a little bit of extra time so i'm on my way to my appointment i got my wax this morning um and then you saw I was at Starbucks so I did end up going to Target and then after um Target I stopped in at a Best Buy in that area and they did not have the thing that I was looking for so I had them look it up and there are a couple other locations here in Charlotte that does have it and so what I'm gonna do, and they're on the on the same the side of town that I live on. So what I'm gonna do probably is after my appointment, after I go to the mall, then I'll probably stop by there and see if I can pick that up. Cause I know they're open like later in the day. I don't think they close super early. The earliest they probably close is like eight, but I should be definitely like done with my hair and everything before in the mall before then. Like there's not a ton of things I need to pick up at the mall. There's just a couple of things from Sephora, I believe, that I need. So, I should be fine um, to do that after I get my hair done. So, yes, I'm on the way to get my hair done now. Um, just a little update. I mean, there's not really any updates on the whole situation, travel situation. We're still kind of playing it by ear and seeing what happens, I guess. There's a couple people in our group that definitely don't want to go regardless and I think the rest of us are just kind of seeing what happens with the weather and yeah as far as the weather right now I think they have just like announced that it is not no longer just a tropical storm it is a hurricane so I'm hoping that because it has strengthened into a hurricane I hope it has sped up and will be out of <laughs> our area where we're trying to get to by tomorrow or tomorrow afternoon that's that's what I'm hoping right now I'm hoping that we can still go but the chances are looking very slim right now so we're just gonna see I guess what happens but as of right now I am on the way to go get my hair done I have it blow dried I hope it is still stretched and blow dried because I feel like I've been ripping and running and um I've been like sweating and stuff it's hot outside so hopefully my hair is still stretched enough she always goes in and um blow dries it a little bit more anyways before she starts braiding because my blow dryer is not the best quality um it's an old one it's kind of broken it still gets hot but like the handle part is broken so my blow dryer ain't the best quality i don't got the best product out there um another thing that i would like to upgrade eventually I do definitely need better hot tools but for right now it's working for me so but yeah I'm on the way to my hair appointment um I don't know if I'm gonna record in there we'll see 
how I feel. I feel like I'm still a little bit shy when it comes to recording in places that I go to, but yeah, we'll just see. She's really cool. Um, her name's Courtney. I've been to her a couple of times. You guys have seen her work already. Like when I got my hair braided last time, um, not when I did it, my knotless braids, but like the time before that, she did. So yeah, I go to her all the time, most of the time. So when I'm getting my hair braided because she does a great job. Like she just never disappoints. Um, but yeah, she's a, she's a cool girl. I just personally still feel kind of shy with recording in places so we'll see how that goes but i may or may not pull my camera out but if i don't i'm, I'm i'll show y'all after um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go because i need to focus on driving and it looks like i'm gonna be getting there like right on time for my appointment hey y'all i am done with my hair appointment i'm walking to my car it's kind of sunny uh, i can probably take my mask off now Ain't nobody out here I got my hair done I'm gonna show y'all a little bit later a better view but it looks really good she did a great job okay so I'm back in the car now you can see a little bit better she did so good I told her that she can kind of do whatever basically like I wanted something similar to this style but she kind of remixed it a little bit which I mean it turned out so good like I said, she always, she never disappoints. I don't leave her unhappy ever. Like, I got the curly ends. It looks so good. I'm looking at myself. So I can make sure I'm showing y'all the right thing. But yeah, she does such a great job. Like, such a great job. So, let me put y'all on my tripod and I'm going to give y'all an update on what's going on. Alright y'all, so I'm in the car now, as you can see. Um, as soon as I got in the car, my friend called me and I was talking to her for a little bit. But, I have an update for y'all. Um, I don't think I'm going to Tulum. It's not 100% canceled, I guess you can say, as of right now. But, it most likely isn't going to be tomorrow. So, the situation with the weather or whatever is still the same. The flight is still booked technically is still there like it's still on time and scheduled whatever it hasn't been canceled as of yet um but even if we were even if the weather did look better and even if we did like were able to go we wouldn't have anywhere to stay so we're gonna just wait and see i guess in the morning because there's nothing that we can do until tomorrow anyways about our flight we're gonna wait and see in the morning if they do go ahead and cancel our flight and once they cancel our flight we can either decide to rebook there for another time and also there may be a certain time frame that we have to rebook by and so we are going to decide to rebook for another time or to go ahead and just get a refund and try to do something somewhere else um probably this weekend we'll try to do something i'm not sure where or what as of right now everything is still kind of up in the air we're just still kind of talking through everything um i'm still doing everything to like prepare for this trip or to prepare for whatever we're doing this weekend i just don't know what it will be um so i'm at the mall right now i have a couple of things that I needed to pick up from here um and then I might get me like something to eat we'll see what they have um I wanted to stop and get an acai bowl or I wanted to get an acai bowl from this place here in the mall but I don't know if they're open this late so I'll check if they're still open I might get an acai bowl and then I have one more stop to make um before I head back home so I'll take y'all into Sephora with me but yeah, that's the update. It's still kind of up in the air, but as of right now, probably not going to Tulum, at least not tomorrow, if we do go. But of course, I'll keep y'all updated on what ends up happening with that situation. <laughs>
Okay, so I am back in my car from Sephora. And I wanted to show y'all what I got. I ended up picking up way more than I needed. I only had two things on my list. So I'll start with those two things. And then I got three extra things that I didn't really need right now. Or at all, really. But there are things that I've been wanting to try for a while. So, the first thing that I had on my list was this little mini travel set. So, I use all the Fenty skin products already. Um, this is the cleanser, the fat water. I think of this as like a toner. It is a, to a toner serum. Um, and then their daytime moisturizer with SPF. So, I figured this would be handy. Even though I was... Even though I was checking a bag, I feel like this will come in handy if I ever go anywhere else for a short amount of time and I don't want to bring the full size products or if I can bring full size products. So I got that. I didn't know if they would have this in store. I was going to order it online, but then this time came a little fast and I was like, let me just check in store and see if they have it there. And they did. So I got that. And then the other thing that was on my list is my Sunday Riley Ice Ceramide Moisturizing Cream. And I've actually showed these two products. I did like a little, I did a reel. Yeah, I did a reels on Instagram. And I showed my nighttime skincare routine. And this is one of the products that I put showed in that video that I use every single night very thick very moisturizing if you have dry skin the driest skin on earth this right here will moisturize it this is thick thick okay and then the three products that i did not have on my list the first thing we'll stick with the fancy products since that's what we're talking about is the fancy butter drop now i didn't need this but literally everybody and their mama have been talking about this body boat body butter body butter <laughs> this body butter saying how thick and moisturizing it is and I have dry skin so it's the whipped oil body cream I'm excited to use this when I shave tonight my legs and exfoliate I'm putting this on after it says it deeply hydrates skin for an instant healthy looking sheen it is enriched with conditioning oils and butters yeah I'm excited to try that And then the next or the last two products are from Way, I think is how you pronounce this brand. So I ended up picking up the Rose Hair and Body Oil because I also wanted to try a body oil and I heard this one was really good. Um, I might use it in my hair, but I mainly got it for my body. And then the last thing I got is another thing that everybody in their mama been talking about is the Way perfumes. What are they called? Eau de Perfume. Parfum. Um, I got the Melrose Place. Um, I forgot what the other one was called, but they both smelled amazing. I was just like, I didn't want to be doing too much by picking up both of them. But I'm going to get the other one eventually because they both smell really good. But this one was my top pick. So I got both of those. And it's actually a, a pretty small container that I could travel with it as well it's less than three fluid ounces so I'm getting ready to head to Best Buy to pick up um, another battery for my camera and then I'm gonna be heading home so I will catch up with y'all when I get back to the house good morning y'all it is the next day it's the morning of what is supposed to be um, the start to our vacation um, an update. So last night I was just exhausted. I ended up just coming home and passing out basically. Um, so I woke up this morning and took a shower and I just finished my skincare routine, hence why my face is kind of shiny right now. Um, but I'm currently still just packing up last minute things, making sure everything is ready to go. As of right now, that flight is still on. It's not canceled yet. Um, the weather, I've been tracking the storm and it's sitting pretty much right over where we are going. So I'm thinking that they're probably going to cancel within the next couple of hours. And even if they don't cancel, I feel like we have a good reason or excuse to want to either get a refund or um, switch our flight to another day or another time. 
So I'm just kind of patiently waiting. I'm gonna wait it out for maybe another couple of hours or so. And if the flight still says that it is on schedule, I think I'm gonna go to the airport and honestly, I'd rather just go there and try to talk some, to someone in person because I feel like sometimes talking on the phone to customer service, you can just go around in circles and you just never really get an answer. Um, so, and sometimes it's long wait times as well. So I'm just gonna go to the airport. Like I said, if I don't hear anything, if they cancel, then like they have to reschedule or refund me or whatever. But if they don't cancel, I'm just gonna go and try to talk to them just so that we can work out whatever we're gonna do um either way we're gonna be doing something this weekend <laughs> it's my friend's bachelorette trip so i'm just packing up and just kind of being prepared for whatever um so that way whenever we figure out what we're doing i'm ready to go um yeah that's pretty much it that's the update this was supposed to be my prep with me i mean it still kind of was a prep with me like i said we're going to be doing something this weekend we just don't know what that thing is yet so you guys will have to stay tuned for my next video to find out what we ended up doing or how we ended up going about this whole storm situation um but yeah definitely we'll end up going to tulum one day it just may not be soon <laughs> um we'll see we'll see what ends up happening but definitely stay tuned and you know like I said this I probably will just title this video a maintenance vlog because it's things that I do anyways I just specifically had it scheduled for this time right before you know my vacation so I'll probably still go ahead and put it up um you guys came along with me I got my hair done it turned out really good I don't even know if I ever showed y'all like I think I did show you in the car but she did the curly ends and got a little bit of color usually I just do like like a natural color um all the way through but she was like do you want to switch it up and get some color towards the ends like an ombre look and i was like hmm, let's do it let's switch it up let's be different so that's what i ended up doing I, it turned out really nice i love it it's something different but i think it's a nice like end of summer you know look so yeah you came along with me to do my hair my nails got my nails done I, Got my lashes done, my eyebrows, which I still need to fill in, but yeah, I'm ready for whatever, whenever we decide what we're doing. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely if you enjoyed this video, I know it probably wasn't the video you thought it was going to be, but if you enjoyed it, if you stuck around for this long, I thank you and I appreciate you. Definitely give me a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss any of my future uploads. And yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see y'all in my next video wherever I'm at and whatever I'm doing. <laughs>